Shockingly, I didn't want to become an engineer, um, not when I was at primary school or at secondary school. And actually, if it wasn't for my guidance counsellor who suggested I look into engineering in my final year, I wouldn't be where I am today. I think my interest in engineering started when I was a young girl. Don't get me wrong, I loved playing with Barbies, just like most of my friends, but I was a bit of a tomboy as well, and I really enjoyed playing with Legos and cars. I always asked my parents questions like, where does the rainbow come from? And why do airplanes fly? Things like, why is the sea blue? And I think that's what really drove me to do engineering. Now, after school, when I went into engineering, I still had my reservations. I still had a lot of questions and doubts on my mind. There was things like, would I be perceived different because I'm female? Um, would it hinder my career progression? Would people think of me differently? But I really need not have worried. Um, yes, I get the occasional surprised look when I tell people what I do, but really I just might let, let my job do the talking. Uh, my role within SGN is a project manager. I work on steel pipes in the west of Scotland. One of the best things about my job is the versatility. So if you want an interesting, exciting and certainly different future, ask yourself these questions. When you come across a problem, do you think of all the different ways you can solve it? Is one of your favourite subjects in school maths or maths related? Are you naturally inquisitive and do you have a good attention to detail? Because if the answer to those questions is yes, you should certainly consider a career in engineering. My advice to anybody who wants to consider a career in science, technology, engineering or maths is to speak to as many people as you can whether they're studying or whether they're working in that industry. Now, there's many different ways to get into the field. Um, I did a degree, some people do an apprenticeship, some people start working on construction sites. So don't be afraid to explore all those options. And the final note that I'd like to say is that it's okay to be different. I felt different for most of my life, I still do. Um, it's okay to have your own individuality and you just gotta trust yourself in the end to make the right decision for yourself.